What's up, future respiratory therapists? Believe it or not, there is a big difference between these two ventilators. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. All right, so today's objectives are very, very simple. It comes down to just this. When you're working with mechanical ventilation, is your ventilator PEEP compensated or PEEP uncompensated? Now, this may seem like, eh, why does this really matter? Well, we're gonna show you that here in just a few minutes. Before we do that, let's go back to where we opened this video with, and can you tell me the difference between these two ventilators? Now, on the surface, they look very, very similar. If you've worked with the LTV-1000 or the LTV-1200, then you probably know what the difference is. If you're new to these two ventilators and you don't know what the difference is, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention. If you notice right here, there is a box. That box does not exist over here. This box is a PEEP setting. This is new for the LTV 1200. Now when you look at the LTV 1000, there was no PEEP setting. Why not? Well, because the PEEP was applied externally onto the expiratory valve of the circuit. Now this is important because when you work with these two ventilators, you have got to understand that the LTV 1000 is not compensated or it is uncompensated versus the LTV 1200, which is PEEP compensated. Now, why does this even matter, Joe? Well, let's talk about it. When you look at compensated versus uncompensated, what we're talking about is anytime we are going to be applying pressure onto a baseline, the ventilator needs to understand where it is going to stop at. So for example, anytime we're gonna dial in either a pressure control setting or if we're gonna dial in a pressure support setting, then PEEP compensated versus uncompensated becomes very, very important. Let me show you why. We're gonna set these settings onto a PEEP compensated ventilator and into a PEEP uncompensated ventilator. And I'm gonna show you what your pressure waveform is going to look like and how it's gonna differ. So we said we're gonna set a PEEP of five and we're gonna go, let's just go with a pressure control of 15. So this little mark right here is gonna be five this is gonna be 10, 15, 20. We'll just go with that. So every one of these is five. So we're coming along here at a peep of five, and then we're going to give a breath that's going to be a pressure controlled breath with a pressure of 15 centimeters of water pressure. It's gonna take that 15 centimeters of water pressure, and it's going to increase it and apply it on top of the peep of five. So you can see where here, we put the delta P of 15 here, held it and then returned back to baseline. So this actually made our PIP equal 20. This is when you're compensating. See the ventilator understands that, okay, I'm gonna put this 15 on top of this PIP of five. Now when you go into the uncompensated realm, what you see here is that we're going to start at five and we're gonna increase the pressure control we have set at 15. So remember this is five, 10, 15, 20. When we come over here, this is what we're gonna get. You see now here, the ventilator only raised the pressure up to the setting because the vent doesn't understand or it doesn't know or it understands that it's just functioning off of this is going to be the pressure that we are going to rise up to. So it rises up to 15, holds, and then returns. It returns back to baseline because it doesn't know where the peep is because it's an external fitting on the, on the LTV 1000, and it doesn't care about peep. It just increases the 15 and then releases. Wherever the bottom is, it is the bottom. Now, the reason this is important is if you look at this, we only really got a delta P here of 10 because we started at five and we went up to 15. That's only a difference of 10. So you can see here where, while these settings are the same, 
what's actually happening for the patient is not the same. You see over here our delta P was 15. This over here will result in a greater tidal volume than what we will get over here. And we have to know that. So again, over here we put the 15 on top of the 5. That gave us a pip of 20. Over here, our pip is 15. Because of an uncompensated ventilator, the pressure control you set is the pressure control that will be delivered. Now, you can do the same thing if you talk about pressure support. The pressure support from 5 raises to 15. So your delta P is only 10. So you really only get a pressure support of 10, not of the dialed in 15. Okay, so you have to recognize how that works and how it functions. Now, let me give you one other example here on how this applies. Let's say that we are on... Um, a, a pressure control of 15 and a peep of 5, but we want to change this. We want to increase the peep to 10. Okay, so we're going to raise the, the peep to 10 centimeters of water pressure. This is the most important part of why this is important to understand. Again, this is 5. This is 5. We're going to increase it by periods of 5. So this is 10. No, I'm sorry. This is this is 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so remember we were on five, but now we've increased our peak to 10. So now we're gonna come over here to 10, come across, we're gonna add uh, 15 centimeters of water pressure on top of that. So we come up here, come back down, come back to 10. Our peak inspiratory pressure now equals 25. Why? Because we put 15 on top of 10. Our delta P remains 15. This, this is the way, this is good. We like this, okay? We understand that we changed our PEEP. Our ventilator compensates for that and says, okay, well, we'll just give our pressure control or our pressure support on top of that PEEP. Now, let's come over here. Over here, we start at 10. So we're going to start right here. And we're going up to 15. So what happens is, is we just go like this. So you can see here where the we start at 10, which is where our peak was, where we raised our peak from 5 to 10, and our pressure control set on 15, which is where it's going to raise to, which you can see now our delta P is only 5. We only went to 15 up from 10, so we reduced our delta P. What happened was... When we increased our PEEP from 5 to 10, we reduced our delta P, which means we're going to reduce our tidal volume, which is going to mean we reduce our minute ventilation. If you're in pressure support, then the patient is now going to receive less pressure support. They're going to have to work harder to sustain and, and, and maintain that adequate spontaneous tidal volume. So what we see here with the uncompensated is that our PIP remains at 15. So how do you know? How do you know if your ventilator is compensated or uncompensated? Well, the answer is very, very simple. If it is compensated, pressure control or pressure support plus PIP will equal your PIP. Okay, so, so let's say we're on a pressure control of 15 and a PEEP of 5, then our PIP will be 20. We know this. If we raise our PEEP to 10, then our, our PIP will go up to 25. That's the way compensated works. Pressure control or pressure support plus your PEEP will equal your PIP. If you're in an uncompensated working with an uncompensated ventilator, then your set pressure control or pressure support, pressure control, pressure support, set equals your PIP. So it doesn't matter what your PEEP is. Your pressure control, your pressure support is going to cut off when that inspiratory pressure is reached. So if you're on, if you're on 15 over five, 15 
over five and you're thinking, oh, I should be at an inspiratory pressure of 20, a pip of 20, but your inspiratory pressure is only 15, then you know now that you're working with an uncompensated ventilator and you need to double check and make sure that you have your settings set correctly. Now, if you are used to working with an uncompensated ventilator, then you need to recognize when you walk into the realm of a compensated ventilator when it comes to PEEP. This is very important because when you're working with uncompensated ventilators, once again, any change in PEEP will affect the delta P, which will affect your delivered tidal volume and ultimately affect your minute ventilation. So that's compensated versus uncompensated. I hope you learned something. Finally, remember, you can reach out to me any way you want to. Always here to reach out, to connect. Please send me a text at 817-968-7035. I would love for you to join my texting platform. Remember, average is easy. The choice is yours. Don't be it.